Welcome to Miles Entertainment. My name is Jesse Milestone, and no, not even being on vacation will deter me from commenting on the utter stupidity happening in the world. Uh, I want to thank Jeff Scholle, Jeff the Iron Wolf, uh, for bringing this to my attention. Um, it was a fun little tweet exchange between Liz Cheney and Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, commonly known as AOC, because like she's so cool, she's just initials. I have some feelings about Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. And they're not positive feelings, let me tell you. They're not positive feelings. She is, she is the SJW representation in our government right now. She is the epitome of everything wrong uh, with the Democratic Party right now. And and she, to the point, and this, is, this is how you can tell, this is how you can tell, because she even fights with all of the other Democrats. Because, oh my god, these are something offensive, boo-hoo. So what happened today? Or not today, but yesterday, I believe it was. Um... So there's a lot of discussion going on regarding uh, the, the condition of the um, detainment areas down by the border between Mexico and the U.S. And uh, from all reports, all reports suggest that the conditions are pretty crappy. I mean, we already know that multiple children have died in custody down there. So yeah, there's some shit going on and it's not great. Uh, and it's to do with a multitude of different factors. Uh, ICE being stretched thin and underfunded, the, the vast increase in, in migrants falling across the border, the fact that the country, this country can't seem to agree on what to do about these migrants, so they're constantly going into limbo, getting shuffled around. Um, the records are, are not always being kept consistent because the, sometimes the policies are changing daily in how we're processing them and whether we're processing them and, and if they're getting processed or if they're getting sent back uh, or if they're getting uh, released until you know, pending trial, etc. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, chain of command issues. I'm sure it's overcrowded down there right now. Uh, the conditions sound like they're not great. They're not great. So what does AOC go do? She goes out, she sits there, and she's talking about how these are concentration camps. She has the fucking gall to refer to these as concentration camps. And now apparently somebody who was kept in a Japanese internment camp in the U.S. during World War II went over and said, oh my God, the conditions here are much worse. Yeah, great. Guess what the internment camps also weren't? Concentration camps. Were they awful and brutal and a total violation of human rights? Absolutely. They were not concentration camps. What happened at concentration camps? People were put to work, and when they couldn't work, they were put to death. They were worked from sunrise to sundown when malnourished and murdered. If you were a child, you were gassed. If you were a woman, you were gassed. If you couldn't get up for work, you were gassed. If you tried to run away, you were shot. Unless you could be caught and then you'd be gassed to save money on bullets. Because that's the entire reason the gas chambers were invented was because bullets were just too expensive of a way to get rid of the Jews. Um... And the concentration camps were set up specifically as a way to deal with the Jewish problem. And now that's a thing, it's an important thing to remember here, because people get all, you know, oh, five million other people died during the Holocaust as well. Yes, there were many other people that did not match uh, Hitler's concept of, of what uh, a perfect Aryan should be and were killed as well. But the final solution, uh, the full name title for the final solution is the final solution to the Jewish problem. Concentration camps and the, the death camps were exclusively, explicitly designed to rid Germany and its burgeoning Third Reich Empire of the Jews. That's some history for you, all right? That's some history for AOC's dumb, uneducated ass who wants to sit there and act like putting people into a holding, not forced to work, by, by, mind you. These people are not being forced into labor. Are they being shot if they try to run away? I don't know, but I have not any heard, heard any reports to suggest that they are. Um, to compare that... Uh, to the actual Holocaust, to the concentration camps, is so absurdly insensitive, is so ridiculously insensitive that it's beyond belief. That's like saying, you know, if your parents make you do chores, that's like comparing that to slavery. We're talking about this much of a mismatch. Oh my god, my parents made me take out the trash today. It's exactly like being a slave. No, it isn't. It isn't. That's what idiotic this comparison is. So Liz Cheney called out AOC on this. And mind you, I really think it's funny when all of these non-Jews are sitting there arguing about the language that you should refer to this thing as. Like, maybe one of you guys should actually ask a fucking Jew? Because the whole thing is like, neither of you guys have the right to be the expert on what is and is not offensive and what is and is not you know relative to, relevant to the history of these things now that said this cheney is spot the fuck on uh for saying that that aoc is 100 percent 100 percent demean you know, fuck i'm not calling her aoc i'm not calling her by her cute little nickname cortez fucking bitch face cortez uh is completely out of line and being 100 percent disgraceful to the memory of the six million murdered jews in europe uh 
by trying to act like these, what's happening at the Mexican-American border is in any way comparable. Is it horrible? Yes. Are people suffering? Yes. Are people being torn away from their families? Yes. Is it the Holocaust? Fucking no. That's, it's, it's insane, it's insane to suggest that. It is insane and it is, it is ridiculously insensitive to suggest that. Um, it's fucking downright rude to suggest that. And now here's the best part, right? This is her fucking comeback. This is Cortez's little comeback to Liz Cheney calling her out and be like, bitch, you need to listen. Um, because Liz Cheney's tweet specifically said, like, you need to look up your history. Um, because six million Jews were exterminated in the Holocaust. So, 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 bitch face Cortez jumps on this. And she's like, ah, you're the one who's being insensitive because you use the word exterminate, which is the language of the oppressor. And because you use the language of the oppressor, you're therefore defending concentration camps and disgracing the memory of the Jews. Ah, uh, no! The fuck? The fuck are you talking about? First of all, once again, you have no, no fucking ground to stand on here. You were never, you were never a Jew. You're not a Jew. You don't have family who went through the fucking Holocaust. You don't have families who were destroyed by that shit. You don't know fuck what you're talking about. Um, the, 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 the Germans weren't the ones going around being like, exterminate the Jews. Like that language has been used categorically for a long fucking time to explain what happened. And it's important to use that language. It's not the language of the oppressor. This is the description of exactly what the fuck happened. The Nazis went and exterminated the Jews. And yes, that's the way they looked at it. They exterminated my people like we were fucking cockroaches. Like we were fucking pests that they had to come in and eliminate. And it's important to remember that fucking language and use that fucking language so we don't fucking forget exactly what happened, exactly how brutal it was, exactly how callous and fucking human it was. Nobody's being exterminated on the Mexican-American border. That may be a crisis, it may be an issue, it may be something we should all be looking into and trying to find out more about because there's been a hell of a lot of cover-up of information coming out of that area, but no one is being goddamn exterminated. So good on you, Liz Cheney, for using that word and calling attention to the fact to just how fucking out of line bitch face Cortez is trying to sit here and, and, and act like somehow and start splitting hairs and using, oh, you're a Nazi defender as some sort of bullshit comeback uh, to, to, to defending the fact that she is in fact the one disgracing the memory of the six million murderers murdered, yes, exterminated Jews in the Holocaust. I have some feelings about this, in case you can't tell. This shit makes me so fucking mad, because this is what it is. This is what my people are to the, to the, to the, to the liberals right now, to the, not even the liberals, the, prog the progressives, the uber progressives, to Cortez and her ilk. That's all we are. All we are is fuel to go call people Nazis is fuel to say you're, you're insulting the Jews. Let us speak for our goddamn selves, all right? We have voices, we have lungs, we can say the words that we want to say. We can decide when we need to be stuck up for them when we don't. We don't fucking need you to stick up for us, all right? Because you don't give a shit about the Jews, Cortez. You don't give a goddamn shit about them. You're part of the group that doesn't even think that we're a protected class anymore. You're part of the group that says shit like, oh, you know, if a black person says it's racism, it's obviously racism. If a gay person says it's homophobia, it's obviously homophobia. But if a Jew says it's anti-Semitism, you might want to ask some questions. You're part of that goddamn group. So don't you goddamn sit here and tell me that you have my people's interests, that you have the memory of our suffering in mind and in your best interest interest when you go running your fucking mouth off and talking shit saying things like oh this is this is that concentration camp it's a holocaust learn your goddamn history have a little goddamn sensitivity that's the whole thing once again you don't give a shit uh, oh can't offend anybody can't use language that offends this group or that group or this person but you don't give a fucking shit if you're offending the jews because we're not protected we don't matter unless you can use us as a goddamn talking point or you can use us as ammunition to call someone a nazi and therefore discredit them which is so fucked up, mind you. That is so fucked up. You do not call somebody a Nazi unless they run around propagating hatred against non-Aryan people. Because that's just, it's not, that's not, a, that's not an okay, that it, unless you're, unless you're fucking joking, you're joking, whatever. But I mean, don't sit around and brand so don't act like people are actual Nazis. When, when, when no, when not even close. It's how, how insanely rude, how absurdly rude to ins insinuate that Liz Cheney, who by the way, this is, this is Dick Cheney's gay daughter, I believe, right? So someone who would have been murdered in the Holocaust, uh, is, is acting like a Nazi, or is defending concentration camps. How fucking sick are you in the head, Cortez, that you think shit like that is okay to say? Now, you're just one of these millennial babies who thinks you can run your mouth off and say, 
putting all sorts of insensitive, stupid ass shit on the internet whenever you want to because, oh my god, I have 4 million followers, I'm so important, go fuck yourself. You are nothing, you are nobody, you are a dumb piece of shit, and history will show that. So fuck off. God damn, that makes me mad. I'm sorry, this shit makes me really, really, really fucking mad. Uh, in case you couldn't tell. We all have our things, we all have our issues, and it drives me up a goddamn wall. Now, the only time a progressive gives a shit about a Jew is if it's one part of their intersectional identity, or two, a great excuse to call someone else a Nazi. Fuck right off with that bullshit rhetoric. Just fuck right off with that. I can't stomach it. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and oh, press that like button. Um, make sure you're clicking on all the stuff. Episode one of Cheese Steaks is out. It's so great. You have to watch it. Um, you can uh, click the, sh the picture, the icon for Jesse Shot first. The amazing shirt designed by that Star Wars girl. Um, you can also click the video Get Involved With Me. All these links, if they're not, haven't popped up yet, they will be popping up shortly. Um, that's a great one. Uh, that the get involved with me will get take you to my Patreon. It'll take you. Uh, it'll tell you about my PayPal. Um, it'll tell you about my other Cheese Spring links. Different ways to get involved with me. Follow me on social media. Uh, PayPal and Patreon are both great ways to contribute because YouTube likes to demonetize my videos. This one for sure is getting demonetized because apparently I'm not allowed to ever talk about the Jews. Um, my people are just instant demonetization because the Jews aren't allowed to make more money because we all have our hidden Jew gold. Anyway, um, but yeah. So click that to find out more about that. You can follow me on Twitter at Jesse Milestone on Instagram at Mindless Entertainment. You guys are all the best. I love you so much. All your interaction with this channel helps so much more than you know. So thank you. God Empress out.